and a plunger to fold the batch repeatedly. This distributes the flavoring evenly. Cold water piped into the shovels and the kneading table cools the candy cane mix so it takes on a stiffer consistency, perfect for the next step. It's over to the automated pullers. These pullers stretch the candy around a metal post. This action aerates the candy, turning it white. There's enough here to make 3200 candy canes, but there's a lot more work to be done before this job is licked. They roll the candy into a fat log while heaters warm it, making it pliable enough to shape. Next, they roll strips of red colored candy. A worker then stretches and folds the red batch to widen the strip. They arrange two of the red strips on either side of the cylindrical mound. It weighs over 45 kilograms, so it takes two workers to carry it to the next machine. It's called a batch roller. Cylinders roll the candy thinner in a process that will dramatically reduce the diameter of the log to candy cane dimensions. A torch moves across the candy to keep it pliable. Then the sugary batch travels between wheels that slim it down even more. Now it's a rope of candy and it exits in a wave-like fashion. This gives it some slack so it doesn't stretch as it moves through another set of wheels. The candy rope moves through two angled belts.